What is up YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Back at you with another video today. Today I'm teaming up with brother Dino DeYoung and his sidekick Damien back there. We are heading to New Braunfels, Texas to cook in uh, the Cooking for the Cure. It's a CBA event, so we'll be cooking brisket, ribs, chicken, and pork butt. We're running a little behind schedule, kinda. We have a crawfish bowl tonight. I'll get some of that uh, footage. And then, um, let's see, our brisket is prepped, our chicken is uh, prepped. We still gotta prep our pork butt and ribs, which shouldn't take too long. So we'll do that while we're out there. And then um, there's supposed to be some really, really good teams out here. Some of them that I know, or some of the guys I know that are coming. Uh, it's just gonna be a really, really good event. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. We'll do some filming. Um, and uh, you know, see how this weekend this weekend goes. Fingers crossed. We hear that big Papa song playing tomorrow. That means that uh, we get a walk. So we're headed out there. We're about an hour-ish away. So I will pick back up once we get out there, get set up, uh, and get the night rolling. Stay tuned. Right, so it's Friday evening. We're kind of set up a little bit. We're getting this crawfish bowl going. Got that going over there. We got some onions and lemon. We got some potatoes, lemons, and some onions there. Some potatoes here. We're getting chopped up. We're gonna yeah, get all that. Onions are in the truck. We're gonna get the. Uh, Put that what else we have? Uh, <laughs> mushrooms, corn, all that good stuff. So we're getting all this chopped up, getting it in there, get this crawfish ball going. Hey guys, so we're we're kind of set up. We, well, we haven't fully set up everything. We haven't put out all our pits or anything. We got the crawfish bowl going on over here, right there. So I'm gonna do a little bit of walk around, do a little bit of filming while I got a little bit of free time. And now I'm gonna get back, we'll set everything up and then uh, get ready for the cooks. I'm gonna walk around and show you some of the cooks that are here. My brother Malcolm, Malcolm Kitchen here. Good luck, brother. We got, woo, I should have stayed home if I knew Jaime was coming. Jaime and Jay, if I knew they were gonna be, I would have stayed home and saved the money. Why donate it? Hey, mama need a new pair of shoes. I could have got her some shoes. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Look at this. Mm. Beautiful pet, man. JG Barbecue. Beautiful pet. So, their teams all down here. We got Fred. Oh, we got Eddie from Texas uh, Barbecue Depot. And then we have, uh, he's. We have Fred from Real Valley Meat. Fred, I think, is inside with, with Eddie. I don't know, let's see if we can come inside real quick. Hey, is it, is it, is, is it busy in there? Chicken, chicken tour 2022 in full effect? We're, uh, we're borrowing some cutting words. I'm gonna give them back to them later. Yeah, <laughs> once they're done? Once you're done with them? We have seven slices of brisket. <laughs> All I need is three slices. I'll put my crappy ones in the bag. In the three, back. Three in the <laughs> That's all I need. So we got Brother Eddie, Texas the Barbecue Depot. Of course, you guys know Fred, Rio Valley Meats right here. Again, if I known they were, were going to be here too, I would have stayed home, man. <laughs> I was telling uh, Hyman over there, Mama needs a new pair of shoes. I would have fucking bought her some shoes. <laughs> Save the money. Mama wants shoes. And this guy texts me, I'm going over. I was like, I meant chance. God. Give us a chance. No. I want to see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see your ass on Sunday. I already know you, bro. Uh, uh, all right. I'm so, nah, I'm gonna take so, so we have Adam Luna over here. So we're going to do some walking around and see what we have. Uh, I know we have um, Chris Davis is up on the uh, top end over here i think he won it last year so he got to be up front but you got teams all down here i'm not sure how many teams are here but i will tell you the quality of teams here freaking crazy absolutely crazy we're gonna go with our brother john barton down here see what he's up to hopefully he's uh in this area Actually, we're gonna come over here real quick. We're gonna visit my good buddy, Carlos Smoking Lows. You guys have seen him 
and previous videos. <coughs> so, you've seen them in my El Campo video. You've seen them in in multiple videos. Uh, you've all their video. What's going on YouTube? Geeks and barbecue freaks. There you, you know go. What I'm doing again. Same You're doing thing. that? Oh man! Listen, yeah, you guys. So this. Change. Same, same concept. So if you guys saw my El Campo video, it's you same. know that brother carlos made these steaks uh they were freaking yep. amazing man yep. so here in a little bit I, I, i'll be turning them about 20 seconds or so from okay. there same thing i'm doing the same exact thing i did it in Calvary. mashed okay. potatoes and everything uh, no, oh no mashed potatoes yeah oh, no no yeah i'm doing the mashed potatoes oh it's, it's yeah the same same thing i don't know the jalapeno that, poppers is going to be for us because I don't think they're going to be just as ready. So. Yeah. Eh, it's all right. That was good, man. He made some steaks, yeah, some poppers, and then, uh, well, you guys saw the videos with the uh, mashed potatoes. And that stuff was good. And he's doing the same thing this weekend. Yes, sir. So this one here is to turn in. That one is for us to eat, so I don't clean this one. So why, why are you, so for, for those that are watching, why aren't you using this one? Because I like the way this one looks here. Yeah. This one has so a little I, bit too see, much yeah, fat right there. So I see that. I don't want the judge to eat that. So for gotcha. us, we're gonna eat that. Gotcha. You know, that that's for us um, here. Makes uh, sense. Uh, you us, wanna turn in your best piece your, of meat. Your best piece of meat. And when I made the mistake and didn't when I when I bought it I didn't ask, ask him to flip it over yeah and I just bought it so then when I got here I'm like oh but that one I did I had him flip both of them over so I saw it so that's a try hard that one there gotcha. so I'm cooking both of them is try hard but that's what I like to turn in cool well, so we'll see you know let well, you get to doing what you're doing man good luck right. brother yeah good to see you man good luck yeah. thank you Facebook people just walking YouTube around people everybody stay blessed yeah let's see who else we have the we have the boxing here you know in a little bit. Yeah. So, cool. Yeah. Good luck, brother. Thank you. Good luck. I'm down there. Who else is here? So we have Brother Barton. Those of you guys who've been following me know that Brother Barton and I teamed up for the American Royal. Let's see what he's got going on. Is he out here? I think he just went inside. I think I just heard the door close. But we're gonna knock on his door. See what he's doing. Hello. John in here? Oh, yeah. What's, What's up? up? What's going on, brother? Morning. So, we're doing a Shigan Tour 2022. Going now. You got to do a jackpot? Okay. No. No, we're doing that crawfish wall. Oh, that looks beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Don't forget the string. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Been there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, brother what Barton here. Just qualify for that FSCA. I'm sure they would. Don't give them any reasons, right? He's got this beautiful steak and these, I guess they're bacon wrap prongs. Yes. Time is turning eight. Yes, eight o'clock. All right, do your thing, man. I don't want to slow you down. I didn't hear what I was talking about. Was. What time y'all boiling crawfish? Uh, we we got it running now. Eight. Yeah. Dude, it just smells amazing in here. Um, Let's see if they did like seafood here. Uh, that's not oh, big yeah. red. That don't look like big red. It's Mexican big red. That's a big shot. That's a fucking shot. Yeah, that's a shot. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of shot? It's what they rather make shots like this? Oh, man. It's, it's a new mix. Right there on the bottom. Nice. That's 
Let's go with the light. Shit. I want to drink that. Get these seasoned up. We'll get them on. Like I said, I didn't film any of the uh, pork butt going on, the brisket going on because it was too dark out here. But that's. Um, uh, on the rice crew drum smokers over there already. You can see that those are going. I'm going to throw my chicken on the Traeger here. Uh, so I'm going to do the brisket, ribs, and pork butt on the my two drums. So <clears throat> my two my two rice crew drums right over there. So that's those. Again, I got the brisket on, ribs on, our uh, pork butt on. Now we're just getting the ribs ready to go. All right, so we got the chicken out of the brine. We're about to inject it, get it seasoned up. Brother Dino is uh, pat drying it. Get all that injecting off, or get that uh, injection off. So we'll get it seasoned up and get them ready to go. All right, so we're getting ready to wrap ribs. We just wrapped the brisket. But the Dino's getting the wrap ready for the ribs. Just give you a little bit of insight of what we do. I'm not gonna show you everything, but we'll give you a little insight. Yeah, then we'll take the rib and put the rib in there, meat side down or bone side down? Meat side down. down. All right, so we're side. All right, so we got our chicken here. Just put it off the smoker. Gonna sauce it up. We're gonna apply some sauce, and then we're gonna put it back on the smoker and let this sauce set. I might do two layers of sauce. See how much time we have. We should have enough time. So one chicken. Here. Yeah, I want to make sure we get it all. If you notice I'm not like swiping because I don't want to mess up the rub. I'm just patting the sauce on because I forgot to bring my sauce bottle to squeeze the sauce on, so I'm gonna have to do it this way. The sauce is really good. Up really good, and then Brother Dino's gonna get up and I'm back on the pit, let the sauce set for just a bit, and then again, I'll, I might apply one more layer of sauce. So, all right, we're gonna run with that. Just my sauce right here. That's a problem. This, this little corner tends to sauce tends to build up. So, that's that. We're gonna get this back on and then uh, let the sauce set, and then apply one more application after that and we'll get them turned in all right so if i do chicken turn in just pull the chicken off the pit here brother dino is going to get in the box and so 
I want that leg in that corner. Yeah. And then we'll take a, a grab a pepper towel and clean that up, Damien. That's another reason you break that leg so it, 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 it'll fit in there. For about 10 minutes from turning this in. Okay, well, make sure we uh, <coughs> yeah, clean the outside of the whole box up. So, chicken looks pretty. We'll see what the judges think. We'll get it turned in, see what they think. So we just turned the chicken, put our ribs off, and the sauce them up. We're gonna dust them down with the rib dust. And just let them sit for a bit, because we still have about 40, 40 minutes before we turn them in. But we wanna go ahead and sauce them up, get them ready to go, so that way all we have to do is start slicing. Got them sauced up. We're gonna hit it with the finishing dust. We're gonna let them sit for a bit, and then uh, get them ready for the box. All right, so we're getting our rib box together. We've got uh, seven ribs. We got to turn in. We got four here. And do this. Actually, I'm thinking this here. Turn them. Wrong way. Wrong way, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you put the bones up? Yeah. Okay. No, that one has a bone Sorry, down. Oh, those are bone up. The ones on the bottom are bone down. These are one bone up. So. This is what a rib box looks like. These ribs are really tender with a ton of flavor. So I'm really happy with them. So we're going to get these turned in and uh, see what the judges think. All right, so here's our pork box. It looks nice. I think it could have been a little more tender, but it is what it is. Turn it in, see what the judges think. Right, so here's our brisket. About to put it off, get it sliced up. And get it turned in. This thing is tender. Look how beautiful that is. Nice. Get over here, get it sliced up. Put the finishing touches on it and then get it turned in. Damn, that thing's tender, dude. Crazy tender. All right, so here's our brisket turn in. Turn it this way. What our brisket box turn in looks like. <laughs> this brisket is really, really good. Let's hope the judges agree. All right, so all the meats are turned in. We are done for the day. Just waiting for the wards. We got about an hour and a half. They got a silent auction going on at four. I think the wards are 4.30, but uh, we are done, which is good. The last turn in, that brisket, I thought was our best turn in. That thing was money. Uh, extremely tender, extremely flavorful. I hate to say that because when you feel good about your cook, uh, or a certain turn in, you never get a walk. So we'll see what happens, but uh, I'm happy. I, th I, th I thought our, our brisket was good. I thought our ribs were really good. Uh, pork, I think it had great flavor, but might have been a little tight. Uh, and chicken, I might have oversauced it a little bit. We'll see. The chicken meat itself had a lot of flavor in it, but we'll see what the judges think. All right, guys, we're at awards. We're waiting for awards to start. They should be starting here soon. We got brother Damien, who is a freaking work ho workhorse this weekend. And then brother Dino DeYoung, my teammate this weekend. So, uh, fingers crossed we hear our song played and our name called. We'll see how it goes. Hey, nothing left to do now but to cry. Oh, yeah. 
Waiting for award to start. All the teams lined up. Let's hope we hear our uh, song played. Fourth place chicken. You get a painter and $150. There it is, Chris. Chris. Thank you. Brother Chris. Awesome. Malcolm got a fifth place. Good job, brother. The 4th of July, Brother Chris, awesome job. So, our 10th place here in town. All right. Good job, brother. 10th place ribs. Brother Babco, 1st place ribs. Hell yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks, we are back from this cook-off. I got to tell you, it didn't go as planned. I thought our turnings were really good, especially brisket. was pro That brisket is probably the top two or three that I've ever cooked and nothing. But that's the way it goes sometimes. So it was um, a great cook-off still. I love uh, cooking with uh, Brother Dino and this boy Damien, uh, it was great being able to hang out with a lot of my barbecue brothers out there this weekend. Um, you know, we'll just regroup and get back at it again at the next one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will see you on the next one. Take care.